Welcome to the Thanksgiving kitchen here at KJ and Company. We are making a twice baked potato casserole and it sounds just as good as it is. So it's all the ingredients of a twice baked potato in a casserole form. So you can just dig on in with a spoon, you get a nice cheesy pull at the end and it's just decadent. So let's get started. Okay, so we have some Yukon gold potatoes here that we peeled and we're just gonna dice them up. You wanna get them all the same size because then when they're boiling in the pot, when they're the same size, they'll cook at the same time, and then it's easy peasy. So just give them a nice dice and into the pot. And a secret tip when you're making potatoes, when you're boiling potatoes, you don't want to add potatoes straight to boiling water because that will cause all the starches in the potato to go eek, and then you won't have really fluffy, light, hairy potatoes. So you put the potatoes into a dry pot, you cover them with water, then you bring it to a boil. And that just allows the starches and the potatoes to just relax, and then you can get them nice and creamy and fluffy. And nobody wants like grainy potatoes. Okay, so I have all the chopped potatoes in here. You can see I just barely covered them with water. We're gonna take these to the stove top, bring them to a boil until the potatoes are fork tender and they can then be whipped and nice and fluffy. Okay, so we have the potatoes that are nice and fluffy, perfectly fork tender, so we're gonna add in all of the really indulgent stuff. We've got cream cheese, whole package. Cream cheese, a whole stick of butter. I mean, nobody said this is gonna be healthy. It's Thanksgiving. And then sour cream. Just it on there. These are loaded and so good. Okay, cream cheese is trying to get out of town there. All right, so now everything's in there. You kind of give it a quick stir. Get all the sour cream off the spoon. We're going to whip them up with a hand mixer. I found that's the easiest way to do it. And I'm just using the same pot that I boiled them in because the pot is warm, so it'll keep the potatoes warm. It'll also help melt the butter, the cream cheese, the sour cream. Plus, you only dirty one pot, so even better. This is definitely one of those times where you want to lick the beaters later because they're good. Do you guys grow up licking the beaters? I always got to lick the beaters, so. Okay, now we're gonna season it. We're gonna do some salt, some pepper, and some chives. So the fresh chives here really bring just a nice salt pop of color and then a nice subtle onion flavor and it's just perfect companion. Okay, salt. I'm gonna do some salt. Once again, I'm eyeballing it. And pepper. And then we're just gonna whip these together so it's all combined. Okay, so we're gonna mix all this together. Oh, look how creamy it is. And they're so fluffy. That's why it's so important to not put your potatoes directly into boiling water. Because this is what you get at the end. It's dreamy. This is what we want. Okay, so now we're gonna transfer this to a baking dish. Whatever baking dish works, you can do a nine by 13, you can do a decorative baking dish. Um, for me, I'm just using this one with handles here. Um, and then we're gonna sprinkle it with some cheddar cheese and put it in the oven until the cheese is nice and bubbly and golden brown on top. Just plop it on in. Unless you have somebody to help you hold it, and you can pour it and get it in there. However it gets into the baking dish, doesn't matter. Okay, so then you just kind of swirl and swoop. You can make this as decorative as you like. I like to make it nice and swirly, just as fun. Because they're so creamy, they're so good. And you can make that later. Okay, cheddar cheese. You're just gonna sprinkle it all over the top. This cheddar, this cheddar cheese is gonna boil, not boil down, is going to melt down and get all bubbly and golden brown and cheesy and delicious. 
I have a few extra chopped chives that I saved. I'm just gonna sprinkle on top. Just makes it pretty. A little extra decorative moment there. All right, this is ready to go. It's gonna go into the oven. We're just gonna bake it until the cheese is melted and then it's ready to be served. The twice baked potato casserole just came out of the oven. Look at all of that wonderful melted cheese. Perfectly golden brown and it is ready to be just dug into. Mm. Everything that a twice baked potato casserole should be. These potatoes or anything but ordinary is so, so good. Perfect for the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> well, that's how you handle my angle. <laughs> Welcome to the Thanksgiving kitchen here at KJ and Company. <laughs> We're working hard. Hardly <laughs> working. Welcome to the Thanksgiving kitchen here at, th at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Potatoes. What is she doing? <laughs> yeah? <laughs>